gentlemen, the cost of fuel subsidy is too high and unsustainable. From 2006 to 2019, fuel subsidy got 10.413 trillion naira. That is an average of 7.43 billion naira per annum. According to the figures provided by the NMPC, the breakdown of the 14-year subsidy are as follows. In 2006, it was 257 billion. 2007, it was 272 billion. In 2008, it was 631 billion. In 2009, it was 469 billion. 2010, 667 billion. 2011, 2.10 trillion. 2012, 1.35 trillion. 2013, 1.316 trillion. In 2014, it was 1.217 trillion. In 2015, it was 654 billion. I don't have figures for 2016. 2017, it was 144.3 billion. In 2018, it was 730 billion naira. And in 2019, it was 595 billion naira. Federal government is not unmindful of the pains associated with higher fuel prices at this time. That is why we will continue to seek ways to cushion the pains, especially for the most vulnerable Nigerians. The government is providing cheaper and more efficient fuel in the form of auto gas. Also, government through the PPRA will ensure that marketers do not exploit citizens through arbitrary high inform prices. And that is why the PPRA announced the range of prices that must not be exceeded by, by marketers. In spite of the recent increase in the price of fuel to 162 naira per liter, petrol prices in Nigeria remain the lowest in the West Central African subregion. Below is a comparative analysis of petrol prices in the subregion. In Nigeria, is 162 naira today. In Ghana, it's 332. In the Republic, it is 359. In Togo, 300. In Niger, 346. In Chad, 366. In Cameroon, 449 per liter. In Burkina Faso, 443 per liter. In Mali, 476 per liter. In Liberia, 257. In Sierra Leone, 281. In Guinea, 363. In Senegal, 549 naira per liter. Outside the region, petrol sells for 211 naira per liter in Egypt and 168 naira per liter in Saudi Arabia. You can now see that even with the removal of subsidy, fuel price in Nigeria remains the cheapest in Africa. Charlie. Another issue we want to address, sorry, it remains one of the cheapest in Africa, sorry. Another issue we want to address here today is the recent service-based electricity tariff adjustment by distribution companies, popularly known as discourse. The truth of the matter is that due to the problems with the largely privatized electricity industry, the government has been supporting the industry. To keep the industry going, the government has so far spent almost 1.7 trillion naira, especially by way of supplementing tariff, tariff shortfalls. The government does not have resources to continue along this path. To borrow just to subsidize generation and distribution, which are both privatized, will be grossly irresponsible. But in order to protect the large majority of Nigerians, 
who cannot afford to pay cost reflective tariff from increases, the industry regulator, NERC, has approved that tariff adjustment have to be made, but only on the basis of guaranteed improvement in service. Under this new arrangement, only customers with guaranteed minimum of 12 hours of electricity per day can have their tariff adjusted. Those who get less than 12 hours supply will experience no increase. This is the largest group of customers. Government has also noted the complaints about arbitrary estimated bill. Accordingly, a mass metering program is being undertaken to provide meters for over 5 million Nigerians, largely driven by preferred procurement from local manufacturers and creating thousands of jobs in the process. NARC will also strictly enforce the capital regulation to ensure that committed customers are not charged beyond the metered customers in the neighborhood. In other words, there will be no more estimated deals. The government is also taking steps to connect those Nigerians who are not even connected to electricity at all. As you are aware, under the Economic Sustainability Plan, the government is providing solar power to 5 million Nigerians, Nigerian households in the next 12 months. This alone will produce 250,000 jobs and impact up to 25 million beneficiaries through the installation thus ensuring that more Nigerians would have access to power via reliable and sustainable solar system. Gentlemen, please know that despite the recent service-based tariff review, the cost of electricity in Nigeria is still cheaper or compares favorably with that of many countries in Africa. I will give you just a few examples. Cost in Naira per kilowatt per hour in some African countries. Nigeria is 49.75 Naira. Senegal is 71. Guinea is 41. Sierra Leone is 106. Liberia is 206. Niger is 59. Mali is 88. Burkina Faso is 55 Naira, and Togo is 79 Naira. Gentlemen, the timing of these two necessary adjust adjustments in the petroleum and power sector has raised some concern among Nigerians. This is a mere coincidence. First, the deregulation of PMS price was announced on the 18th of March 2020 and the price modulation that took place at the beginning of this month was just part of the ongoing monthly adjustment to global crude oil prices. Also, the review of service-based electricity tariff was scheduled to start at the beginning of July 2020, but was put on hold so that further studies and proper arrangements can be made. 